Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonatica Bell Zero. I'm Ranya Como and Doc is here to laugh at me as usual. Hi. Uh, we last left off, we were looking for a thing. We were over here and now we're going over here. And maybe we'll find that thing. Who knows? Found the game. OBS is open this time, right? Yes. I made sure. This time. Well, this looks important, doesn't it? Strange place for a security bunker. Parvan Ivano. By the way, that was animal. If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation. Is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh. Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. Hmm. Okay, then. My dearest Adeline and Rosita. Ugh, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here, and... Oh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's... By the way, Ram, there's a jukebox disc. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know... I love it's on the you, bed. and I miss you. Huh. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and how everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than that, of coming home to you. I am sorry for all the times I did not appreciate you, of our family, or the good life we had. And I... Who am I kidding? I can't send this. What's the use? Oof. Oh, and it looks like you're in the right cave now, after... Yeah, I kind of figured with the security bunker and everything. In spite of my best efforts. <laughs> well, you know, that's why I installed the map. In spite of my best efforts to get us completely and thoroughly lost. Yep, anyway, this is two, this is one, this is one. I think I grabbed four, right? I'm gonna grab yeah, the last one, just in case. That's a nice looking poster. I don't really need that, do I? Or that uh, for that matter. You might need the spiral plant clipping. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have some at home. Either way. Time to keep going. Wonderful. Yes, that certainly looks like I'm in the right area. 
my investigation of the fire excavation site, including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov and Samantha Ayu. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance. Ivanov had just entered the cave. The prints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a I need that necklace. I can't see you. What was Ayu doing? Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet, I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, who is responsible? I wonder. Anyway, uh, I don't need this, right? I'm not gonna get hit ever or something. Oh, this is a big item, isn't it? No, you picked up the uh, reclaimed water. Oh, that will do it. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. I'm gonna go ahead and drink it. It appears that your sister's death was accompanied by significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are your feelings confused? I am detecting more than one. I, I don't know. I, I feel disillusioned? Worried? Actually, I don't need that. I thought I knew Why Sam better Lou? than I really did. Mm -hmm. When we were kids. I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was something else. By the way, this is where I found all the schematics for the prong, too. That seems important. Not really, it's craftable. Oh, okay. Still, it's rather than this shit. Why do I even have a ribbon plant? In case you need to craft a battery? I think I'm fine. That's uh, pretty big. Can't scan that. So I guess that's it on this cave at least. No, you need to scan more than just the claws. Yes, I meant on this little side cave. I think there's like three things you need to scan. Yeah, probably. One of those are easy to make, I think. Hello, big guy. Just you wait till he starts moving. I know, right? He doesn't look dangerous whatsoever. Uh, injectable contact. Okay. So I oh, guess there's I... one more thing you need to scan. Yeah, I am exploring for that. Tab.
You remember what the craw is, right? Yeah, the thing that basically turned the entire planet into a lockdown. Altera dug it up. Yep. Okay, this bitch dug it up. Retain traction on the end. Hmm. Hey, there was more! Mm. Oh, I missed the teeth apparently. So it seems. I was looking around a thousand years ago when it fell through the ice. It was infected with the Carabacterium, the aggressive disease which wiped out the architects and almost life on the planet. Mm -hmm. Now think, why does a mega corporation want to study this? Well, to use it on other people, obviously. What else would they use it on? Or possibly as a terraforming tool. Think about it. You land on a hostile planet that would otherwise support life, but has hostile fauna? We've yeah. already got the cure for... Kara. Yeah, that is that now. too. Yeah, you're not wrong. Literally drop it and wait. As much as I hate the idea. Okay, I'm not that dumb. Right after I say, I'm not gonna take damage. <laughs> Here, simple solution. Done. Stitched up that broken ankle real nice. Yeah. And then there's this. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Wiped it off. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creatures still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now. What's this? A rock. I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. I feel bad for that guy. <laughs> Especially since your coworker killed the shit out of him. Yeah. I mean, it probably wasn't or on purpose, but... And like, I'm pretty sure that part wasn't on purpose, but... Yeah. Also, I don't think I need an extra scanner. No, no you don't. Unless you want to drop your scanner and steal the battery out of that one. No, yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, right. Okay, so there's the battery, so I can get this thing. We have a, a new one. Oh. It didn't have a battery. <laughs> so it really was pointless. Okay. Guess all I can really do now is head back to the... Same mod. I mean, I guess there's a little bit extra that way, but I kinda need to head back to base now. Yeah, 
you know, well, with having literally no space for anything. bit further south first. Okay. And then I get to go towards the south. Okay. So this way What was that sound? I did have one extra. Now we need to make a lot of space, actually. Like a lot. This is full, this is full. This is full, this is full. I want to keep that one. Study. Tempted to just drop the dumper. I mean, as long as you don't go into ice worm territory, you don't need it. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, hey, there's some space. So, are you going to go back to base and actually deal with your storage issues now? Yes, that was in fact the idea. You know, after I go grab the snow fox again. Stop screaming! Hello, cutie. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, damn it. No, don't, don't board it. Back up. There we go. There. Now I just need to make it back. Somehow. I shall repair it first. Is there a flare there? Why do I even have a flare? Why didn't I throw the flare before? Of all things! Alright! Let's try to head back to base! Through the... The jelly tunnel or whatever. You know what? I didn't occur me to check it. What would happen if I drop items while inside the sea mod? Yeah, I mean, I'll find out eventually. Worst case scenario, you've lost some items that probably weren't necessary? Question mark? 
Yeah, first things first, find the way out. Which, uh, maybe it's this way. Don't see any jelly yet. This is where I came from, isn't it? Probably. Are you lost? Possibly. Are you my mommy? No. I know I am a fox mom, but that doesn't make me your mom specifically. I was just making a dumb Doctor Who joke from like years ago. Oh, I know. Doesn't mean I won't give you shit for it. Probably just go on a straight line now. Pretty much. Possibly. I'm gonna have so much to build once we get back home. Is this actually. Oh, yeah, I am mapping this area. I am gonna try staking a bit close to the ground so I can. Actually, map it. Good luck. I mean, this area shouldn't be dangerous. And even if it was, I have the defense system that protects me from basically anything ever. That like, kind of. Except the ice worm. Hmm? Except the ice worm. Yes, because I don't have the defense system with the Ice Worm. If I had the defense system with the Ice Worm, it would probably protect me from it. No. Ice Worm doesn't care. Have you tried? Maybe. Wonderful. So he does go on water, huh? <laughs> or was I just fucking with you then? Killed what are questions, day. really? What are rules, really? Yep. I don't know, something that limits the people who don't mod games. I guess that would apply more to cheating, not to modding, huh? Either way, and I figured it was not an issue to get back to base. You have the moon pool. Yeah, but I. Yeah, my uh, suit is currently parked on it. Probably because I was putting a, a modification on it or something. Okay, first of all... No, that's the... Yeah, that's the vehicle builder. There it is. Like they told me I needed the uh, ground, so I just put it here. <laughs> I need to construct it, I just need to place it. This is entirely your fault. Hey, now it's charging up. I 
And now we can grab some stuff. Go inside. Welcome aboard, Captain. I miss this place. All right, first things first. Uh, oh yeah, I did unlock the proportion cannon and the tether tool. Gonna make those later. Propulsion cannon is not very useful. Good to know. So I need fiber mesh. I mean, it's basically a half-life gravity gun. There are some things you can use it for, but meh. I'm not a huge fan. Fair enough. Um. So did I put magnetite? Does it go here? Or here? Okay. Get into my poster collection. Alright, I think I had some fiber mesh stored up in here. Somewhere. Not here. There. Not enough, but it's some. Oh, there's some more. Oh, my inventory is already full. And do you think we got enough magnetite? No. I know, right? Pursuit. Until the entire planet is stripped barren of resources, you don't have enough. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. tight. Yeah, that's probably useful. Insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders, the cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia. Thank you, PDA. I totally didn't already know that. So basically I'm going to need to, need to put the cold suit helmet in the... in the ship so I can just swap it out whenever. We don't fit here so I'm going to put it here somewhere. I have a bit of sorting to do. You might want to do it off camera. Yeah, probably a good idea. Okay, first of all, you said the proportion cannon was a very useful, right? I mean, unless I'm wrong, which is a possibility. Yeah, you're not wrong. Or you are. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so for that thing, okay, we have the titanium, we have silicon rubber right here. I'm just gonna make the tether tool real quick. And then probably craft 
some of the other things off screen because we do have about a few things to craft. More than enough materials to do so now. I want a multiplayer Subnautica game. I know, right? Oh yeah, we also need to craft the uh -huh. jump module. We definitely have enough for that as well. But yeah, uh, that's Although we would not be able to play it with Rob. Together, Cube facilitates instant travel to a bed sea truck teleportation module. I on Cube required for use. Oh my. That reminds me, I should probably craft some ion batteries. If I think I have the material for that, right? I mean, the. Yeah. I do have the recipe for ion batteries, I just haven't made any. Anyway, I'm probably gonna do a bunch of crafting off screen like the teleportation module and the sea truck docking module and I don't know we'll see so yeah I hope you all have fun and we'll see you next time when I will have uh, stuff yeah goodbye